The Committee to Protect Journalists, or CPJ, says the profession and the threats facing journalists have changed dramatically in the last decade, with digital technology allowing a great many citizen journalists to be out in the field on their own, and many governments and other groups increasingly taking lethal action against anyone attempting to document events. In Syria, experienced American war correspondent Marie Colvin was killed in February, along with French photographer Rémy Oshlik. McClatchy newspaper's Roy Gutman says journalists must often take risks to cover a story. But speaking from Istanbul via Skype, he says even those who know the rules cannot always protect themselves. Journalists have realized that they are targets, <clears throat> and they are not uh, uh, you know, protected by really anybody. Um, and they better, they better f find their own protection. VOA foreign correspondent Peter Heinlein was detained in Ethiopia in May while trying to interview protesters during a demonstration. He says journalism is definitely becoming a more dangerous proposition. When you go out into the field, you know, you're, becoming, you're going into a, an arena, an environment that is increasingly sophisticated at flummoxing journalists, at stopping them, at preventing them from covering the stories. CPJ's new journalist security guide outlines basic preparedness for new journalists, such as entry and exit planning when going into dangerous situations, navigating foreign bureaucracies in cases of injury or arrest, and threat assessment for journalists of all experience levels. It also offers advice on digital security. That is something CPJ senior advisor Frank Smythe says journalists have only recently started to be aware of. They need to protect the information on their hard drives, and they need to be able to protect their communications, whether in email or by telephone, uh, cell phones with sources. The guide also stresses the importance of emotional self-care, recognizing and dealing with the trauma that can come with hazardous assignments, up to and including sexual assault. ABC News chief foreign correspondent Martha Raditz says a good journalist must have empathy, as well as ways to cope with painful memories of things they have seen in the field. It was just the other day, I was, I was we were just driving someplace, my family, and and um, there was a little kid running around, and, and my my um, daughter said something like, oh, look, take take my baby, take my baby. And, it, and I said, oh, that brought back a memory of Ethiopia in, like, in the early 80s during the famine and, and remembering that women were trying to hand me their babies because they were, they were so starving and near death. She says it is then, when journalists are in the moment, that they must be most cautious. Raditz agrees that security is a core function of being a journalist. She says the CPJ Guide provides important tips on how they can protect themselves, their sources, and their work. But in the end, she says, journalists must have their own sense of security in order to do their job and live to tell about it. In Washington, Vivian Chakarian, VOA News.